Barb Westville. Um, today is National Sewing Machine Day, and sewing is so important to what we do here in the village. Not only do we make all of our costumes and the historic clothing that all of our interpreters wear, but we also uh, use sewing on a lot of our other crafts that we show in the village as well. So I am in Adams, and we have two sewing machines in the shop, so if you come in, uh, our interpreter, Olivia, can tell you all about them. Uh, a little bit about the history. So during the 18th and early 19th century, a lot of people made different sewing machines and they never worked. Uh, with our modern sewing machines and the successful ones, like the ones here, there is thread going underneath and on top that kind of interlock and hold each other in place. So it took them a while to figure this out. One of the first kind of successful ones uh, was invented in the 1830s by a French tailor. And so he started making it, he got a factory going, and a huge mob of angry tailors that thought that this new fangled machine is going to come over and destroy their business. Uh, they burned the entire place down, destroyed all the machines. So the inventor rebuilt everything and it happened again. So he ended up dying, unfortunately, um, a poor and not really well known for his invention. Uh, so then we go to America and we have Isaac Singer. Isaac Singer is the Singer sewing machine. He uh, made his prototype in 1950. By 1851, there's articles about it in uh, like Scientific American, which is a magazine. And throughout the next like, 10 years, it becomes very popular, very widespread. If you go through historic newspapers, you can even see it being advertised in uh, here in Columbus, Georgia uh, during this time period. So it definitely spread and was a thing seen in the Chattahoochee Valley. Now, not only is it in our dress shop, but we also have kind of an unusual way of using the parts here in the village. So I'm going to switch over to Lee and he can tell you a little bit more. Hello and welcome. My name is Lee and this is the Carpenter Shop, the waste wood shop here at Westville. What I've got today is not a sewing machine. It is a lathe. It's a wood lathe for turning wood. And so that means taking tools like this, resting them on tool rests on this lathe, and then carving out this block of wood as it spins. Just like a sewing machine, except a little bit different purpose. What this is, is it's, it's an idea from the time period. Carpenters would take old Singer sewing machines and take the sewing machine part off. And then once you have that off, it's just a ready-made power source, basically. And those were hard to come by in the time period. And so then, you screw a wood frame onto it. You have a blacksmith make you metal parts right here. A leather worker make you a belt. And then instead of having to make a spring pole lathe like this, or other types of more intensive lathes in the period, you can make one like this. Like so. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see you in the village soon. Have a great rest of your day.